Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I figure I'd do a video on black eyeliners that I've been using, um, especially specifically from the drugstore. A lot of them I've just kind of tried out and I was going through my little makeup bag that I've been using and I noticed I had five different brands and different kinds of eyeliner and I figured I'd go ahead and kind of just give you a little rundown. Um, I'm not sure if the swatches are gonna be very clear, hopefully will be on this channel. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just go through which ones um, I like and what I think about them and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so all of these eyeliners are from the drugstore. Um, by drugstore meaning CVS, Target, Walmart, um, any local drugstore basically. So let's start off with the first one. I usually use this Jordana eyeliner here for my eyebrows and this has been my holy grail eyeliner and or my sorry eyebrow pencil and I've also been doing different um, or using different eyebrow pencils as well so I'll, we'll get that'll probably be a different video but I figure I'd try out the Jordana eyeliner which is the black one that they have and this one is called the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in Black. And this is a retractable pencil. So it's one of those that you could just retract. And I've used this quite a bit, so I have a lot of product left um, in this pencil. Um, let's just say that with this, it's just your typical black eyeliner. It's not anything special. It actually isn't very very pigmented i mean it's pigmented but it's not like the milani one where it's creamy and very dark so i'll do a little swatch here in my hand and sorry about my hand here i burnt my hand earlier or sometime last month and it's hopefully it will go away but it seems like it's scarring so this is the swatch for the jordana eyeliner pencil hopefully you guys could see that i'm not sure i can't really see um, if I'm in view or not, but it's not, it's just black. It's not super, super black like the Milani one. You know how that one comes out really, really creamy and just bow in your face. But, um, I believe like with this, the lasting power, um, isn't that great? I mean, it, it lasts on your upper lid, but if you put it in the waterline or down below, it just seems like it tends to fade throughout the day. But all in all, um, if you want just a basic just eyeliner, this is only like $1.99, so it's really inexpensive. I think it just does the job, but it's, as again, it said, it's not really anything special. The next one, let's see what I say. The next one that I've used is this Rimmel um, Soft Coal Eyeliner Pencil. It looks like this. I've used this quite a bit, and honestly, it's, and it's in black. It's, it's just, I could say even say the Jordana eyeliner pencil is better than this one. Um, it's right here. I just washed it right over here. It's comparable, right? It's almost the same color. This honestly smudges for me. Um, again, it's nothing special. I mean, when you put it over the top lid, it, it it's just black. It's not, there's no lasting power to it really. Um, I, I feel like it doesn't tend to stay because I like to tight line as well as put eyeliner to top and bottom um, but my eyes get really really watery on the corners and it tends to gather here at the ends um, this I feel like it just disappears and it doesn't this is pretty much not my go-to pencil but because I still have it the reason why I still have the reason why I still have this is because I don't want to waste it, I don't want to throw it away. It does do the job in terms of just giving you the basic black eyeliner, but it's not one that I think I will repurchase again just because it's, you know, something that the Jordana could do, and it was only $2. This was about 4 or $5, or maybe 5 $6. It's been such a while since I bought this, and um, it's not a product that I would repurchase again. The next one that I would say is, we're getting towards the best one, I'll, and I, I'm kind of moving up in the direction where from like cheapest to ones that are gonna be towards my favorite. But I mean, I could say that these, the Jordana and the Rimmel 
are kind of in the same level, but if I were to pick one or the other, it'd be the Jordana since the intensity is pretty much the same. The next one, which I can't honestly really give you guys um, a full review on this because I haven't really used it this much, that much. It comes with a smudger here at the end, which I never really use a smudger. I usually just use a brush if I want to smudge, but a lot of the times I don't smudge my eyeliner. Um, so I don't even, I just draw the line and whatnot. Um, this is called the Maybelline Define a Line in Soft Black. And it's one of those retractable pencils as well. And I don't think I've used this honestly that much. It glides on creamier. And it's right there, if you guys could see it. Top line. It glides on creamier. It looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not matte. I'll wait a couple, like a minute or two for it to see if it, it kind of dries matte, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, again, I can't really tell you guys um, a full review on this, but it must have not, I, it's in soft black, so it's, again, it's not intense. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, and it does seem to smudge right away. Um, which the last, as again, again, I can't really give you guys a full review on this. Um, and just one of those things I'm just gonna keep until I use, but just rubbing my finger across it, it does not stay. So the Rimmel, the Jordana, and the Maybelline Define Line does not seem to have any kind of lasting power or is not smudge proof. So that's probably why I don't use this because my eyes, let me give you guys a little scope of how my eyes work. My eyes are get really watery, especially in the corner. My eyeliner tends to gather here on the sides or in the inner corner. Um, when I do tight line, it does seem to transfer down a lot of the times. Um, so I'm just trying out different eyeliners. So that is a little bit of history on how my eyes are. They're not, they're, they get really watery for some reason, especially I get I have an oily face. So just anything around, I'm just, it gets so frustrating, right? Because I, I wanna go through a day without looking like a koala. Um, so the next one, so these two I, I believe are very, very comparable. And this is the Milani Liquify and the L'Oreal, I still can't pronounce this, Silkasami, I can't pronounce that. But it's in black, they're both in black. Oh, by the way, the Maybelline, the final line, this was about six bucks, six, seven dollars. So a little bit on the pricey side, which I probably won't repurchase that one again, because I'm starting to get towards my favorite eyeliners. Um, the, also the one that I don't have here that has been working pretty decently and I actually liked um, is the um, Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. And that one's really good. I would actually repurchase that. I just, as you can say, I don't have it on me because I used it. Um, but I do have all these other ones that I need to finish up, so. But anywho, so the next two that I have that are very comparable in terms of the intensity of the line is the Milani Liquify and the L'Oreal Silkissimi. Sil Sil Hopefully I pronounced that right. So let me just do a swatch here. This is the L'Oreal Paris one. Look how intense that line is it's really creamy um you have to sharpen this though it's not retractable um so that's pretty intense right so let's do the milani one so i'm gonna do it right here on top it's pretty much similar so the only thing i could say is that i would prefer the l'oreal over the milani one milani one smudges like crazy on me it's very creamy. A lot of the times it can get a little frustrating. It being so creamy, just, it's, it's, it's a smudge monster. Um, if you were going for that smudge look, smudge effect, then I would go for the Milani just because it's easily, you're easily to smudge this. But I kind of, as I said, I don't like to smudge my eyeliner. So I've been using this L'Oreal one, but I have it on the top um, top part and I tight lined and I added, to, I added it to the bottom. Um, throughout the day um, before I retouched it with a different pencil 
it stayed on. I mean, there was a little bit of a gathering in the corner, which I don't think I could ever um, prevent that from happening. Um, but other than that, I usually just set it with it with the eyeshadow that I I darken with the outer V, and I that's the same eyeshadow I used to kind of just set the bottom part. And this has been working pretty well. I mean, during the humid weather here in San Jose, it's held through. And this is something that I will repurchase again, along with the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. The Milani, um, and these are about the same price. These are like six to seven dollars. Um, but I enjoy the L'Oreal one more than I do the Milani. And honestly, with the Milani, I probably, what I like about Milani, both of these is that the intensity of the color, as you can see, is really black. And I like that about it. But I don't like Milani for its smudging. Um, if you do, you could also honestly smudge with, smudge your eyeliner with L'Oreal. So honestly, if I had to choose one, I would choose the L'Oreal over the Milani. Um, so if you were to ask me which one I would choose over the L'Oreal versus 12 hour, 12, is it the 12 hour color stay? Or the color stay, Revlon co color stay, I would honestly choose this L'Oreal. Um, just because I believe like the lasting power and the intensity is definitely more intense than the Revlon color stay. But I do like the Revlon color stay and the fact that, um, the lasting power is, it does last all day. Um, and it gives you, it's a pretty decent black line. And I hopefully, um, I'll repurchase it again just to do a review on that one and show you guys how well that one works. But I think so far with all these eyeliners that I've tried, even the Revlon Color Stay one, which I don't have, I honestly love 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 this l'oreal um silk kissing me hopefully you guys can see that and again you can buy this at your any at any drugstore so hopefully that's helpful for you guys in terms of the different black eyeliners and i know there's tons more out there um so if you guys recommend any other black eyeliner that doesn't smudge um that has great pigmentation and intensity um, message me below and comment below and let me know which ones I should try um, in terms of drugstore, even non-drugstore. I've even tried like MAC ones as well, which I don't have those on me, but this video mainly just focused on the drugstore ones. So if there's any other drugstore ones that you think is worth for me to try, go ahead and comment below and I'll go ahead and try those out. But I definitely need to. I just want to use these up and um, not waste them. As I said, I throughout the years of doing these YouTube videos, I've just collected so much makeup and I just don't want things to go to waste. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. And if you have any other questions, please comment below and leave the questions below. So if you guys aren't aware, I do have a vlog channel, um, which is Life of Nipe and I-11, and I'll link it below or add it down in the info box. So I've added already two videos, I believe, on there. So I'm just trying to get the hang of trying to do it on a daily, but eventually get there but it'll be a lot of snippets of stuff so again um i do have a new vlog channel and it's life of nine nine eleven and i'll link it down below for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to that as well please thumbs up this video if you liked it all right we'll see you guys in the next video